Hey guys, so today I have my best of 2013 for eye products, so mascara, eyeshadow, eyeliner, all that good stuff. I'm going to start with eyeshadow palettes because I just have been an eyeshadow fanatic this year. So my first two, the Lorac Pro palettes. And these are seriously so amazing if you guys are really into eyeshadow like I am. The first one is just their classic Lorac Pro, and then the second one that I have is the Pro to Go. So the Lorac Pro I mentioned in my gift guide video, and it's awesome because you get a whole row of mattes, and then below that you have a whole row of uh, shimmer colors. I have these on my eyes right now today except for like one MAC shadow. They're just gorgeous. So they're highly pigmented. I love them all. Here is the Lorac Pro to go palette. So it just folds out like this. But I love this for traveling. It's so convenient. I brought this with me when I went to New York with my mom. I just went to the river this weekend and I just took this with me and it's nice because it has so many things that you need all in one. On the top part you get really good neutrals, a good matte black, a couple shimmers. And then on the other side you get a bronzer which is gorgeous. I love this bronzer. And then you also get two blushes. Then I had to mention some of my new MAC eyeshadows. Oh, a lot of you guys always ask me what I keep them in. This is a Z palette. I have the zebra print one and I have a black one that I keep some MAC eyeshadows or other eyeshadows that I just don't use very often, but this is my go-to palette that I use all the time, and I got a few new MAC shadows this year that I've been, I, that I use all the time, and they just have become staples to me. First one is Texture, and this is a perfect blending out color, and by that I mean just a color that you put in your crease that really helps to blend out any look that you're doing. It's super warm. I've just been really liking really warm tone eyeshadows. The other one is Brown Script, which is a really red toned brown, and it's gorgeous in the crease. It's also really pretty just to put it on your lid or just the outer part of your lid, and I also use this a lot under my eye as well, just to really smoke it out. The next one is Antiqued, which is this shimmery color. It looks like a metallic version of Brown Script. Really gorgeous for all over your lid, and it brings out blue eyes so much. And then this is Otre. This is a color I purchased a while back, but I never really used it that much. And it's a really kind of weird looking mustardy color, but it's really beautiful on your eyes. And I use it as a transition color, just kind of up right below my um, eyebrow. And it looks so nice, and it's just a different color. Next for eyeliner, the first one is a natural nude eyeliner that I use on my lower waterline and this is by Studio Gear and it's their inline outline pencil. I got this at Ulta a while back. It has lasted me forever, probably two years now and I use it a lot. So I like to use this on my lower waterline because my eyes get pretty red so this is really good because that lower part keeps it from looking gross and red and it lasts a long time as long as a waterline liner kind of does. The other one I do want to try is the NARS Larger Than Life Rue Bonaparte. So if you guys have tried that, please let me know. When this one runs out, I might purchase that one, but this has been really good to me. Then for a pencil liner that's a dark color, I picked my Benicos Natural Kajal Liner. This is a great liner because it's so good for sensitive eyes like I have. It's natural, which is awesome, and I have the, them in two shades. This is the blue. I also have the black. These work good on the waterline, too, but you can use it on your upper lash line or wherever, and they're pigmented. For my liquid liner, this is my Sephora Long Lasting Liquid Liner. I use this so, so much. Probably um, not every day. Almost every day. And it is a felt tip, and it just gives me a really good line. I can really build it up and make it super thick if I want, and I can keep it really, really thin if I want to do that too, and it's so black, and that's why I like this so much. Uh, I was using the Physician's Formula one forever, which I like too, but this one I just use more often now because it's so black that I don't have to go back all the time and put eyeshadow on top of it to make it darker. Next for a couple kind of different things for different uses. The first is the Benefit Eye Bright. This is a great pencil, great kind of tool if you are super tired one day and you don't know what to do and you look just haggard. This is what I go to. It's a lavender tinted eye crayon and I put this on the inner corners of my eyes and sometimes the outer corners under my eyebrows and then blend it out and it just makes your eyes pop and it really makes the whites of your eyes stand out 
it's just an awesome thing to have on hand, especially for traveling. And then the other product is my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Sparkle Leopard. And this I really have been liking this year for when I'm lazy and I don't really want to do much. I don't want to spend a lot of time on liner or on eyeshadow. I use this and it's a great just cream eyeshadow stick and what I do with this is line my entire eyes with it. So just put a line on the upper lash line and then on my lower lash line and you can kind of smudge it out and it just gives you a nice bronze sparkly look. Next for mascara, you guys are probably not surprised by these picks. My Cora's Volcanic Volume Mascara. It's your natural bristle brush, classic wand. It gives me so much volume, so much length, and I can really build it up a ton without it being super clumpy. And then the other mascara that I have fallen in love with this year is the Mary Kay Lash Love. This is crazy good. Uh, I just recently bought the full-sized mascara because this finally ran out, so that'll be in my haul. But I don't usually like plastic bristle brushes, but this one grips your lashes and it gives you so much length, so much volume, and it's good to have on hand with this because if I do ever need to really separate my lashes, I can count on this for that. And my last product is a tool, it's my Japanese eyelash curler. I used the Sure Mira one for a long time, years and years, and I finally switched it up and got this one and I just find that it works so much better. My other one could just be on its last leg, but this one gives me a really intense curl, which I like. I like my lashes to be as long and tall as they possibly can. If you're looking for a new curler, this one is totally good. So those are all of my favorites for this year for my eye products. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I will see you all soon.